Hi everyone, I'm Kathleen Alcala. Welcome to my YouTube channel. I thought I would just come and do a quick little video for Thanksgiving. I know if you're not part of the U.S., you're not celebrating Thanksgiving, but I actually think it's just a day to, um, of gratitude. So you can be from any nation and just have a day of gratitude. I actually um, damaged my finger. <laughs> so I'm, it's in a... Um, little brace so I can't actually really craft too much so I wanted to just come in and say hi to everybody I'm gonna work on a really quick craft I was actually organizing and found all these really old images I thought wouldn't that be cute to use that together I have this it was from a paper clip thing and it's really beat up but I'm gonna use it because I thought it'd be cute to write on I hope it's not too dark. I moved the light away because I didn't want it to shine because it's kind of a glossy finish, which I hate, but it is. So I'm just going to glue these images on because I thought, oh my gosh, they're just darn adorable, right? I, um, see, isn't that really, really cute? Something so simple. And that's what I want to do. So my finger, um, I'm, um, is having struggles. I have trigger finger. I don't know if anyone knows what that is, but it uh, means it gets stuck. <laughs> Not that I'm shooting. <laughs> uh, at work, they thought it was about me overshooting a gun. <laughs> the young at heart, they don't know. <laughs> so anyway, I go, no, it wasn't about that. I like this little pearl drum guy, isn't he cute? These images that I'm using right here, I just was cleaning out, you know, cause I, I've been saying this, I switched craft rooms and so it's kind of like all this stuff that I was looking through. And this is printed like 20 years ago. Is that not the most amazing color tone still? Look at that, I'm gonna pull it a little closer. Look at that ink. I mean, that was stunning, right? Oh, it's amazing. I'm amazed. Anyway, I just had to say that. So I printed these things out ages ago in intent that I was going to make little um, cards for the family for Thanksgiving. And would, I wanted them to write five things that they were grateful for. My sister did end up doing something similar, but um, in a tag, I hung it on a wire and it was really sweet and so neat. Um, let's see if I put it that way. I kind of feel like that. Maybe under the paper clip. A little over his hat. Anyway, excuse me. So let me put this here. Five things I'm grateful for is obviously my faith and my family, friends, my job, of course, my pets. That goes without saying, right? I'm also grateful for the freedom that we have in the United States and freedoms to speak our minds. So those are some things I'm really grateful for. I'm grateful for the ability to craft and um, such a wonderful community for the crafting. I think it's spectacular. It, just such a great community, really rally around each other. And I find that wonderful. Okay. So there's this. How simple is that, right? <laughs> and yeah, I know that's all beat up, but it's okay. It's all right. I'm not a perfectionist. I thought this would be really seriously cute for someone to write. I want to use this. Let's see, it's like really tied up. It's really hard to use this right hand. It's been frustrating using my left hand for everything. And it's not easy. Like, for instance, this. I'm telling you, I can barely even undo this. I'm not sure where I got this, but whoever sold it to me, 
don't tie such tight knots. <laughs> oh, man. I might have to cut it. Should, it's a bummer, but that's okay. I'll cut it. I'll get my scissors. Let's see if I can get that in there. So as I struggle with this, uh, just updates. So I just recently spoke about moving into this craft space and I'm going to be moving into another craft space now. I'm like, oh my Lord, have mercy. But so what happened, we had a renter, my, I lived with my sister and we had a renter who moved out. And my sister decided to turn that room into a ginormous, massive craft space. Who am I to argue? <laughs> I said, sure. Sounds good to me. I'd, I'd love to craft. So I was very happy to hear that. We are um, going to be changing up our craft space. So I'll be moving again. And the holidays as it is are so busy, right? Can you guys believe it's going to be Christmas? Oh, my Lord. Well, first of all, it's going to be Thanksgiving, which everyone seems to just kind of gloss over that, which I'm trying not to gloss over that, but it's hard not to. So look at that cute. Let me trim up the ends here. Anyway, I've been just trying to get things organized for... Thanksgiving meal here and for a Thanksgiving meal with my family. And where I work, I'm in charge of Thanksgiving there as well. It does make it a little bit of a challenge. Um, oof, it was like all of a sudden I realized it's Thanksgiving. I haven't even gotten food ready. <laughs> okay, look at how cute. So simple. And wouldn't that be fun to really fill this out? Five things I'm grateful for. I know that this is incredibly simplified and nobody needed to see me do this. The truth of the matter is, I really just wanted to come in and say Happy Thanksgiving to everybody. And that's why I did this. And that's why I'm making this very short video. I know I've been missing an action on and off the last few months, but there's been a lot of stuff happening in my world. Just so wanted to say Happy Thanksgiving, Happy Day of Thankfulness. I also want to encourage those who are alone not to feel depressed and not to feel sad and lonely. I know that's easy to do. If it's helpful and you can do it, go to the community and serve meals. I used to do that when I lived alone and it was such a rewarding experience. People are, you know, hurting and they would love to talk with you and anything you could share with them would be a blessing for sure. You know, cheer up. You're not alone. God loves you. And so many people love you, probably more than you realize. So hang in there. The next thing I want to do, actually, away from Thanksgiving, I want to show you something that I'm going to be working on. It's this loveliness. Let me turn the light on so you can actually see a little bit better. Isn't that amazing? I love to look at stuff like this. Um, it's been a couple of weeks since I've been able to use my hands. So I was sitting in my, the craft room here and just pulling together such loveliness. And why I pulled all this loveliness was because I picked some lovely paper. I'm going to show that to you. The first thing I picked was, look at that. <laughs> Isn't that beautiful, you guys? Yep, I know. You're all going, oh, that is gorgeous right because i agree with you it is simply gorgeous and there's a whole kit i believe this is on pixie dust isn't that pretty so beautiful so incredibly beautiful and i think it's called tattered lace tattered roses tattered something or other so i have these in pink i have it in blue i just haven't printed everything yet isn't that beautiful? I just wanted to show this so you guys go on the site and pick these up. Just so stunning. And I also got some other some other images that I decided to try to turn that into Christmas. Look at that. I don't remember where I pulled these from. It wasn't Pixie. It was another place. But I thought, oh, so cute, right? Here's another one, but that was... I'm not sure where this one was from. 
then I have some really pretty images from Luna Rosu. I don't know if anybody, anybody knows who she is, but if you go to Etsy, she has a shop, but I'm also part of her, um, her uh, what's it called, Kofi, where you pay a monthly fee and she gives kits every month. But I thought these images were beautiful. I'm hoping that they will blend so I can use it for that kit. This is not, I don't think, it, I don't know if this is Kofi or not, or Luna Rosu. And then of course, look at this. I just love the words. And this is from the Pixie Dust Files. Now this is Luna Rosu. Isn't that pretty? This is all Luna Rosu. I just want to show you guys how lovely that is. Oh, just so amazing. When I see images like this, the rich tones, I just go berserk. <laughs> but this, I wanted to show you guys. Look at this. It's a freebie from pixiedustfiles.etsy.com. So this was posted on her uh, Facebook group. And I'm like, oh my goodness, look at that girl. I wish I had this in like nothing but a kit of these types of images. I searched on Etsy, I could not find that, but I'm in love, love, love with that. And that is what I'm going to try to make for my main page. And that's why, hold on, I couldn't decide between these three to be my main page. I'm going to show you what I plan to make. Okay. So these are my main pages. I couldn't decide between these three. I want to make, let me show you, this big giant file folder. Now this came, I believe, from the Crystal and Pearl Kit Club. And um, it comes with all kinds of stuff. But I pulled this out thinking, you know what? That'd be really fun to make something ginormous. Because look how big this is. It's huge, right? That's why I thought, ooh, I could use an entire print for that. Isn't that pretty? See, I couldn't decide that one, this one, or this one. I think this might be a little too dark. That might be the back page. And then, see, look at that cute girl. Her color palette matches. So then I started thinking, why not turn this into the most amazing, beautiful Christmas ever with um, just kind of different images? That's why I printed out those giant angels because I thought you never know I might be able to use them with this too because same color palette. But isn't that cute? Can't you just see that with that? Pretty, right? Pretty. And that's what led me to pick all this beautiful goodness. Look at this. This is from Ivy Ling. These are all her French laces that I purchased from her. Uh, she was selling on... Whoops, sorry guys. I blocked the camera probably totally. She was selling on YouTube channel and she sells often on there and she was selling her French laces. Isn't that cute? And look how she put it together. She's such a talented woman. You really need to check her out. Again, she's on YouTube, but look at all this beautiful goodness right here. And then I just found all this other pinks and then I thought it'd be nice to put in some, some trim not just lace so i picked that isn't that pretty this the darks with the light here oh, i thought that was pretty and of course this is simply gorgeous look at once you pull it apart how delicate that is and then this is stunning just stunning and i found all these little pieces that i just had lying around i really liked i have a whole bunch more <laughs> Pulled. Let me see if I can grab it so you can see what I'm talking about. See, <laughs> but for now, that's all I wanted to show. Uh, so that's where my inspiration is coming from. This paper and this, and there's a whole other kit. I'm, um, I have it. I need to print, so I'm going to print out the rest of it, and then I'm going to. Um, work on making a Christmas, I don't know what, that is a file, journal, holder. Your guess is gonna be as good as mine, but to be determined, I think it's stunning. Could be a Christmas card holder too. All I know, it's gonna be spectacular. How could it not be with that, right? Okay, you guys, that's my inspiration. And I'm hoping that this little finger heals 
so I can um, press on. I'm probably going to do a, a craft along with me video. I haven't done one in a while. Um, I know I can be long winded. <laughs> so um, That will be a time for you to get your coffee or tea and sit and let's all craft together. All right, everybody. So that's that's my big thing for now. I just want to show you what's in the works. I want to say happy Thanksgiving and have a wonderful day of thanks. And whether you're on your own or not, still be joyful. God loves you and he's always there for you. Okay, everyone, take care. Be blessed. Bye-bye.